clap. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at these Ola Dance E pieces. Yeah, Ola Dance wearable stereo they're called. So that's what they look like. I'll just show you them first. They just hook over the ear. Now these are designed not to go in the ear canal and that's the reason why I bought these ones. Uh, they just fit over the back and the balance on. They're made of like a grippy, well, the, the cotton is like a bit of a rubbery cotton, so they don't fall off. Uh, so they're pretty good. I, I have no problems with them, they just took over like that. Uh, and it feels, it feels like, I can feel they're there, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. But I, I know they're there, because obviously I can feel them, but they don't feel like, like anything squeezing or pushing into your, your hands. So all I'll do is I'll move the camera, I'll have a look at the box, let's put my glasses on. Uh, I'll just bring the camera a little bit further forward and I'll show you the case and everything. Uh, I'll just pop that down. Just to get us all in, in shot. Okay, 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 I think that's good enough. Yeah, cool. So this is the box it comes in, which is like a phone case size box. Some information on there, winner 2022 red dot, don't know what that is. Apple, Android, and there's a nice little picture of them there. There's some specs on the back, if you can read that. You can get all this off the website as well. Uh, a few other things, extra comfort, stable fit, virtual bass, crystal clear sound, uh, and also, because they open to the ear canal, you can hear everything around you. Up to 16 hours per charge. That is the key, 16 hours. I mean, that is phenomenal. And then you've got some specs uh, and Bluetooth this and Bluetooth that. Uh, it's one of those ones that slides out. And then you greet it with like another little nice little box. And this box opens. like that. Obviously I've taken it out. It comes sealed in a little wrapper. Uh, uh, cardboard, so it's reusable, which I like rather than plastic. And here you've got some other little things in there. I haven't even opened this, I don't even know what's in it. It says open. You've got to, oh, you've got to tear that to get it out. I'm not kidding. <laughs> so it looks like there's a cable in there and something else. Well, let me just I don't understand why you'd have to tear it. And then there's nothing else in the box. So we pop that down. Uh, it's a bit strange. A bit strange. I'm just going to pull that out. I don't even know what that is. There's a cable. And it looks like, it looks like I won't have to destroy this. I don't understand that. That just seems to me like just unnecessary. Uh, it's all glued up so now what else in there that just seems a bit unnecessary so USB C cable uh, it's like very rubbery which is nice it just, it just feels rubbery same material let's move all this uh, stuff and then there's some it looks like paperwork what the hell everything stuck down why why would they do it I don't understand. I just don't understand that. Anyway. All the dance. Uh, it's just telling you about the philosophy and what the company ethos is about all the dance. This is about the industry leading. Some photographs there. You can go on the website and see all this as well. Not interested really, but there we go, it's there. By the way guys, I bought these myself. Everything I review, I only do reviews when I buy, so I need something, I'll buy it and then I'll review it if I think it's worth uh, talking about. So I don't actually buy things just to review. I just don't see the point of that. Uh, some more tips and stuff on there, I'm not going to read that. Pointless putting it in. And then you got the manual, which seems pretty good. So what's in the box, uh, and then 
you've got the app which you can download which I've already done I'll show you shortly a couple of swipe functions uh, answer the phone single tap double tap to cancel things like that volume to swipe to go up and such and to pair it again that's in different countries so that's all you get that first one so that's pretty straightforward we can get rid of all this now can we I don't know what the hell this is oh this might be like a lanyard here of course they've made it like sell it tip it up so you can't get in why do they do this i just don't understand it it's like it's a little piece of thing like a little Oh, it's a rubber thing. What the hell? What? I thought it was a lanyard. So, two little rubber things, which looks like they go over the earpieces to, to give you grip maybe, so you can pick it up. I'm not going to use them, but I suppose if you had smaller ears, you might want, they're like silicon. Yeah, I'll try them in a minute. Get rid of that paper if you don't want that. It just makes it look a mess. That's the stickiest paper I've ever seen in your life. So, uh, why did I buy these then? Uh, well, I've, I wanted them for a couple of reasons. Pop that in there. Normally, I've, I've been using these, these Tozo ones. And they're pretty cool. But they, they go in here. I mean, th some things I don't like about these, I haven't done a review of these, but I didn't think it was worth doing one, but the, the, the super slippy, I can, so you can't even get them out of there, it's that slippy. So why they didn't put a little grip on. But anyway, it's not about these, but these work fantastic, they sound great, they're cheap. These are about £30, obviously the other dance is like, <laughs> well they go for one nine nine. Now I missed, I just missed a deal, because I didn't know what the uh, recommended price was. They were on Amazon for 130 and I said, oh, I'll put them in my basket and I'll just have a watch. And because I didn't realise, it must have been on a deal. Anyway, because I decided to buy them, I thought, oh, I'll get them. So like, so when I went home, I thought I'll buy them on the night. Uh, and they'd gone up to full price. So it was like £200. So from 130 to £200, I said, like, oh no, I'm not paying that. This thing's too much because I haven't tried them and they might be rubbish. Uh, so, all them type of things. So anyway, there was a, a discount of forty pound if you get them. So anyway, I ended up paying one forty uh, or something like that. So like, sorry, one sixty because it was forty off. So I ended up paying thirty pounds more just because I missed that deal. But there you are. That is what it is. So that's the the case. It's like a rubbery texture. It's got like other dance sign on there. You've got a type C port and a cable to come with it. Uh, what, I, what I really didn't like about these, it's just a case. It's not, it's like it's big enough. Why haven't I got a little battery in? It's like, I just think that's a total con. There's plenty of space in the back of there where you could have a thin, battery just to give you like a, a couple of charges maybe even in the top part there's plenty of space but they've decided not to and they've decided to sell a separate one for 50 pound with a battery in and no way i'm paying that i'll just buy a battery and plug it in uh, but yeah that's there if you want it guys so i think that's a bit of a con i don't care how good they are i don't like being ripped off uh, so anyway that's there's a little light as well you can't really see that when it's charging, there's a little tiny light on, then it goes out when it's charged. That's what it looks like. Uh, one other thing, these are a the finger magnet. Oh my god, it's like... It says on... Does it say on there? I thought it did. It doesn't actually... On the on the e-pieces it says left and right, but it doesn't actually on there, but that's what it looks like. Yeah. And... I'll just take one off. Magnetize so they just drop in. I'll take the other one off because I don't need to actually wear them because I'm not doing any 
microphone checks or anything like that because I'm just telling you what I think of them. These ones are blue, they come in different colours, there's an orange and a white and a silver I think. They look pretty slick uh, and these are the batteries and you can slide for the volume up, slide down and do different functions. Uh, no lights on them, I don't, I don't think I've seen any lights on them. And then when you close it, uh, then it switches off. So when you lift it open, there must be a switch so it turns on when you take them out. They automatically pair. Uh, so the, the app, you can download the app off the App Store or Android or um, iOS. Let me have a look at the, quick show you the app. So the app is going to be that one, which is the other dance one. You connect it. Now, as you can see, uh, it actually knows the left and right because I've opened it. But when I close it, it switches off. Yeah, wait, I'm trying to get the phone and thing. The thing with this is it's a bit awkward to open. So we open it now. That should come on green. There you go. It's just found. Glenn's all dance wearable things. It takes a few seconds. It tells me the battery level. And you've got a couple of things. So you've got your four. Oh, so that's me dog. <laughs> Here's me Jack Russell. He's like, why are you buying them for? They're too expensive. Um, and then you've got here, you've got your presets. I won't mind really for that or if I'm watching any music or listening to any music or anything then obviously but I tend to use mine in the car for answering phone calls and things like that or watching YouTube and so I'm not really that bothered about bassy and stuff it's usually YouTube videos uh, but the sound is fantastic considering it's an open ear piece and the main reason I can actually carry a conversation and listen to other things around me is pretty pretty cool. Uh, all these can be changeable. Uh, I, I haven't even really used the app to be honest. What's this? Uh, delete now. Uh, if you hit that you can go into the device settings so you've got all your device battery is 90% left and 60% on the right because today I was using them at work and I was using just one so I have one in my earpiece, my driving instructor so I have one in my earpiece and if somebody rings and it's an emergency I can answer and still talk to the trainees and things like that uh, it's very rare it happens but I still always answer a call in case it's an emergency uh, and if it's work I just say I'll ring you back so you've got battery, sound balance, EQ, gestures, you can change all the gestures so you could have like single tap and so on. You've also got uh, music, gestures, and then you've got ones for call. So it's pretty cool. Uh, auto mute and so on and customer services and you can shut the device down and such. So it's a pretty uh, pretty good setup. It's nothing special, but once you get it set up, that's all you, all you need. It connects to my phone instantly, uh, connects to my car, uh, I've never, oh yeah, and all my tablets, I've got about four tablets, including Android and iOS. So that's pretty much it for the controls, really. Uh, I've used this for about a week, and I thought I'd give me, me uh, my take on it, whether I think you should buy them or not. I mean, obviously it's your choice. I think they are expensive. I mean, I paid £160. I think £100 would be better. I just, for value, I mean, I'm talking about value because the only thing different between these ones and them is the open ear. That's all I'm paying for. These don't sound any better than these ones. And them ones were £30. So, like, £100, yeah, they're worth £100. Uh, they connect just the same. Uh, so yeah, obviously something with the f over here, like a full over your ear, that's going to sound a lot better. Um, and another little negative, I don't want to slag these off because I like them, I'm not sending them back, I like them, I'm going to keep them. 
I, I wanted them to be on my pedal bike so when I go along the seafront or pedaling I want to be able to listen to things like traffic and also take phone calls I don't really listen to music although I've tried it and it works great them ones you couldn't do that because she's got this thing in your hair which blocks out and these ones are noise cancelling and things so it's a bad idea to drive around with things where you can't hear sirens or people shouting or something like that or kids something like that so that's the positives of these now the battery level is great these actually charge up like most of them so I charge these up once a week and I use these every single day for watching YouTube um, when you get hot and sweaty these are not as good these should be better especially with these little uh, rubber uh, rubber silicon uh, caps they should be better I think that's what they're for and it looks like the clip on the back or the front probably the back but I'll have a look at the manual uh, so the quality feels good they feel good around the ear they don't feel like like what do I say? They don't feel. I know they're there, but they're, they're not intrusive. I could wear these all day. I think that's one of the big selling points. Uh, if you're on a bike, exercise bike, no problems. I think if you were yoga, moving around, you might knock them off. But then again, it's probably the same for everything. They are waterproof as well, so splash proof. What about that? I'm not sure. As IP, I'll have to check that, guys. I don't really care to be honest. I think they are waterproof though. I'm almost certain, but I'll, I'll check that. But uh, yeah, uh, I think it's splash proof. Um, but they're never not truly waterproof because you need the sound to get out with the membrane and things. But overall, they're easy to carry. I'm using these things every single day for work. I only use one of them, I just have one in. But if I'm watching it, like a video or some music or play, listen to music, then I'll put the two in. I've only charged it once. So that's why it's 90% on this one and 60% on this one because this is the one I use in my right ear. Uh, and I just think it's nice to take phone calls, like just a quick tap. I mean, I, I have got my smartwatch and I can answer my calls off that, but everyone can hear the conversation through this or through your phone. Well, obviously that's only one way. They can only hear you and me. They can't hear the conversation type of thing. Uh, and yeah, the the connect fantastic. The, there's no lag. I don't hear any lag. The I was out walking yesterday. I was actually walking around the car to get in the other side of the car. The phone rang, so I just tapped it. And while I was getting in the car, I was like answering the call. So it's more convenient than lifting this up and trying to find a button because it might be under a jacket or something. Uh, and it was a little bit crackly. I won't lie and I was a bit surprised now that could be a couple of things it could be the other connection or it could be my phone or it could be whatever but uh, I don't think it's great for windy conditions but I could be wrong but what, what can you expect the microphone's right up on your ear um, but I'm not really bothered about that it was fine people could hear me I got the job done uh, but if you listen to music it's going to be great but that sense of listening to the world around you feels a bit strange because it feels like the music is in the room just coming from like a stereo speaker hence the the term wearable stereo yeah. so I'll give them that, it's, it's worth it uh, I, I prefer it if it was a bit cheaper so if you can pick these up for around about 100 to 120 I'd snap them up uh, I don't know about the colours, I, I quite wish I bought the orange ones now, but then again I don't know. Uh, these ones are fine, they're like a blue, like a slight blue colour them. So guys, uh, like I said, I've used them for a week, probably put in about 16 to 20 hours in them, uh, of listening, and I have no problems with them. Uh, goes in your pocket pretty easy, it is larger than obviously them ones. What would you rather carry? But if if I was going somewhere like on the train uh, and you're getting different trains on different platforms these are going to be great because you can hear what's around you like talking like I was with the kids or the wife we can still communicate but I can also take phone calls in in fact I got a, I was watching YouTube last night and I got a phone call and I was just sat on the couch 
and then I was just answering the phone and my wife was because she she doesn't have got these so I didn't even tell her and she thought I was like talking to myself she didn't realize and I was just talking away she can only hear me but not the cover the conversation and then later on I was like oh yeah mommy and she went oh so yeah it's uh, really handy uh, and the range now I've got my office in the in the attic or the loft uh, and I had my phone because it's connected to my mobile. Yeah, that was downstairs, like in the front living room, and I was in the loft, like the second story. And uh, it rang. I answered it. Uh, same goes for my watch. It's got a, a really good range, and these picked it up fine. Uh, so the range is not a problem. Connectivity is pretty good. Uh, also, changing from devices from one device to the next device you've got to pair it well I had to I don't have to pair it to my phone now this is an Oppo uh, X5 Pro phone and I don't know what it says on it doesn't yeah it says on the back anyway it's an Oppo X5 Pro now uh, my Samsung tablet I've got to disconnect same goes for them. I have to every time I go, I've got four tablets. If I go from Apple to Android, I have to keep pairing. It knows it's there, it's paired up, but it won't connect, which is a bit of a pain. Now, this connects to some things, but not everything, but certainly better than this. So, what I'm doing is I'm leaving this set to my Apple stuff, and this goes to my phone in my car because when I get in my car I can either connect to that or my car asks me and I go well I'd rather connect to like this rather than the car speakers type of thing because it's too loud and if someone's driving I don't want them to listen to my oh no mind so and if I connect to one of my Samsung Galaxy S6's my tablet to connect straight away but my other one I can't remember what my other Galaxy is it's another Galaxy tablet that one won't connect uh, and my wife's got, what, I can't remember what tablet she's got, my daughter's got an iPad. I've never tried it on that, but I assume that'll work. Uh, but yeah, connection wise, not problems. It's not like a negative. The only negative would be the battery. So if you could put a, if, if they had another model with a battery, that'd be a no brainer. Because I want to be able to get 16 hours plus another 50 hours. Uh, not charging this thing up, just dropping it in when I'm finished. Every time I drop these, drop it in, in there, I want that to be charging. That's the way all the other ones do. Uh, anyway guys, uh, I hope you like this little bit of a look at. Uh, you can see there's little lights on there, I don't know what you can see. Can you see the little blue lights? That means as soon as you lift the lid up, it connects. And it'll connect to my phone as well. And then as soon as you do that, let's have a look. Yeah, as soon as I get to about there, the switch kicks in, so there's a switch and then I can see the lights going out. And now, there's the light out there. Yeah, because when you bring it up quicker, it's... Anyway guys, hope you like this video. Uh, just a quick one. Got any questions, leave in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Give us a like, give us a sub, uh, sub if you haven't, really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.